Our opening tip, things did not work out so well for Brooklyn last night in Philadelphia. So Ben Simmons makes his not so triumphant return, right? He played fine. The fans booed him loudly. Everything you would expect to happen happened except the Sixers playing without Embiid or Harden or Tyrese Maxey won the game. Stephen A. Smith, how do the Nets lose that game last night? Pathetic. No heart whatsoever, no pride whatsoever. Uh, you bring into account their culture, and I think that's what's something that needs to be talked about for a quick second. Mike Wilbon has mentioned this on several occasions, and I got to give props to the Godfather himself. The fact of the matter is this. You're yep. Kevin Durant, 14 shots. 14 shots. What the hell are you doing? Why are you out there? You're Kevin Durant. You can average 30 in your sleep. There, at some point during the game, don't you say, Jalen, don't you say, Will Bond, just give me the damn ball. Like he did in the finals when he was playing with Golden State. Wits, Clint, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson against Cleveland, and they were struggling, and then he said, give me the damn ball and drop 43. This is what you do against Shake Milton or DeAnthony Melton or Tobias Harris. Why wouldn't you do that? It just boggles my mind to me. And so for that, and then I see Kyrie, who's trying to get back into it. Ben Simmons did not play bad. It was a no-show in the fourth quarter. I get that. First three quarters, played relatively well. Seth Curry being back. All the pieces were there. There's absolutely, positively no excuse that the Brooklyn Nets lost. It's just a regular season game, and I get that. But it speaks to their culture. Come on, man. You step up and you say, Embiid, Harden, and Maxie's out? We're going to destroy these brothers. They played down to the competition, and that's what I'm lamenting. Stephen A., I've been waiting, thinking, okay, maybe I've been rash. Maybe I've been too harsh. Maybe the talent is so overwhelming, I need to chill on some of this other stuff. And then you get to a game like last night. And I'm like, no, no, I wasn't. They don't have one characteristic of a championship team other than talent. So they have the talent of a championship serious contender. Yeah. Nothing else, not one other quality of a championship team do they possess. And this is what happens. So we're going to be doing this all year. They're going to have a stretch where they win six in a row or seven in a row or nine of 11, whatever. And then they're going to have games where you just go, are you serious? How is it they reduce themselves to this? No accountability, right? And so that to me, the game wasn't about the details of the game. It's about the details of who they are or are not. As Jalen, you said to me today, like this wasn't just a regular season game. This was Ben Simmons return. So what does it say that they just did not show up and play hard last night? It said exactly what the Godfather Michael Wilbon been trying to teach us. It said exactly you, what Stephen you. Naismith just got finished saying. And by the way, Stephen A, I'll tell you why KD only took 14 shots. PJ Tucker was locking him up. How about that? And also, he was playing timid driving towards the basket. Now, as it relates to the Nets overall, Greeny, this team does have talent. But when you lose to the other squad and they're playing without their big three. Oh, and by the way, Tobias Harris left the game for a period of time, too. Trust me, Doc Rivers and his staff, the wine tastes so good last night because they were telling themselves there's no way they could ever beat us. And this is what I took from it. This squad can't win a division, can't win a conference, and won't win a championship. And it also told me this is not Jock Vaughn's job. They wanted to give this job to Ime Adoka, and they didn't for the reasons that we know. But this cemented for me that this won't be his job long term. Well it, it reminded me, you know, listen, I was a guy, and I'm not going to back up from that. I talked about the Nets coming out of the Eastern Conference. But I threw the caveat out there for all of y'all prior to the season. I said Steve Nash wouldn't last. He would be fired, and Ime Udoka was supposed to be here. Obviously, one thing happened. The other thing was supposed to happen. But then Kyrie happened, and as a result, none of that happened, okay? So here we are. We got Jacques Vaughn. And this is a guy that I think was doing a relatively good job until last night. But you could see his frustration because he was in back by what transpired because there's no excuse to go out there and play like that. And then you look at the way Boston is playing, the way Milwaukee is but playing. Stephen, and you see the potential to what you of Philly. Said. And it's like, wow. This speaks to what you said. It's culture. Eme couldn't fix this by himself. His presence alone wasn't going to solve this. It might help it. It might have gotten later into the season before we started noticing the same flaws. The flaws are the flaws. The grouping of the people, everything they've got going on there, 
It, it's it, it, the, the culture is bad in Brooklyn. We were together on Get Up this morning. You were nice enough to come by, and Woj was there. And Woj said they're figuring out whether or not this is worth even sticking with. Are, at what point is it going to feel like it's not even worth holding it together for a we, full we'll season? We'll know within the next 90 days. We'll know before the trading deadline because the reality of the situation is if you're the Brooklyn Nets, it might be time to look towards the future. It's just a regular season game. I get that if you're looking at talent being outclassed. But this is about culture. And when you see that it's devoid of culture, at some point in time, you have to make a decision. It's one thing to admit that I'm wrong about what my expectations are. And damn it, I'm not even there yet because they have so much talent mm -hmm. and I'm in love with talent. But I have to tell you, last night made me ashamed as a basketball pundit, that I even thought that this team deserved to be mentioned in the same breath as Boston or Milwaukee, considering how right. I saw them right. lay that egg. It was embarrassing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.